Today we will be looking at the Ravel Monogram 1997 Batman and Robin Batmobile Model Kit. But before getting into all of it, I'm Trevor and welcome to the Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage. Picture this, you've just discovered a model car you know nothing about. Or perhaps you've owned these model cars in the past and you're just here to reminisce. Either way, we feature classic plastic, new releases, television and movie cars, domestic kits, imports, and model kits made by companies lost to time. If that sounds like a channel that you totally dig, subscribe and hit the bell icon next to it to never miss a video. And now without further ado, let's go down to the bench and see what's in the box. The Ravel Monogram Batman and Robin Batmobile Model Kit is a 125th scale model that includes a Batman driving figure and is intended for ages 10 and up. On this side of the box we get the features of the Batmobile including the length and the height, the number of pieces and the color that it is molded in, as well as a painting guide down here which includes silver, flat, black, blue, red and flesh. And on this side of the box we can see that the Batmobile features special bat treads on the tires and it also encourages us to collect both the Batman and Robin model kits which is the Robin's Red Bird as the second kit. Now before we begin our review I always like to go over the instruction sheet just in case you're missing it or if you just want to simply know how to put the model together. So here we've got the three-quarter front view of the Batmobile as well as a write-up on its history for this movie. Here's the read before you begin guide. The symbols you'll see in the instruction sheet and our paint guide over here. We begin our bat build with the body assembly and here we have the body shell turned upside down. This is the bottom view and here it shows our right and left hand side engine panels being glued into place. We also have the front grille with the painting suggestions and the turbine here which will glue to the front and these are all the decals which will go around that turbine. It also says to thin down flat black paint to create a black wash. Apply to model details to create a weathered appearance. We continue the body assembly with the top portion of our body and it says to first put the bottom panel up into here and then we've got all the decals in place that we drop in as well as the different paint along here and then here's all our decals going up on that instrument panel. Step 2 shows our chassis assembly and here we have the assembled body being put onto the chassis pan and here's the bottom view of the chassis. It says apply silver first followed by a flat black wash applied after silver is completely dry. So there it is going on the bottom of the engine and down these pipes along the side. Panel 3 shows our fender assembly. So here we've got the right and left rear fenders. They're only showing one for ease of reference. And those will glue up onto here. We also have these exhaust pipes which will glue onto the fenders as well. Panel 4 shows our wheel assembly and here's the construction of the wheels themselves. So you have the chrome wheel and the wheel cover which glues into place as well as the tire with the bat logo on it which will press on there. You make these up four times and then in the front here you've got your plastic axle with this tab you need to break off and then this will go into the wheel and through the body and into the other tire wheel assembly on the other side. Panel 5 shows our figure assembly and here we have the front and back of the bat torso with the head molded in place which will glue together. Then over here we have Batman's arms and his legs and the steering wheel which you glue between his hands so then that will hold it in place before you drop it in the body and then here we've got some painting tips for that steering wheel and towards the bottom of that panel we have our completed figure being dropped right into the seat and it says the arm fins fit under the cockpit sides so that's all how that goes together our final assembly begins in panel 6, so here we have our windshield being glued down here as well as the bumper fin which glues to the front of this fender. There is a left bumper fin here and a left headlight which glues on the inside part. There is a center bumper fin which would be right here and then the right bumper fin and right headlight all being glued into place. Panel 7 wraps up our final assembly stages with the inner fin right and the outer fin right and these would glue together and same with the left hand side. So here we've got both our fins which would be glued to either side of the Batmobile 
And then down here, we see our tail lights being glued up underneath the fins. And then we've got our exhaust ports here. It says to thin down flat black paint to create a black wash. Apply to model details to create a weathered appearance. So that would complete our build instructions for the Batmobile. Riddle me this, Batman. In the Batman and Robin movie, Batman and Robin face off against Mr. Freeze. In which comic book was the first appearance of Mr. Freeze? Give us the date and the issue number. Be the first one to guess this right in the comment section down below, and your comment will be pinned to the very top. <laughs> Here we are with our body for our Batmobile, and you can see that it really is wide in the front and then narrows down in here for quite a, almost like a fist looking appearance, if you will. So here we've got our Bat logo, which is etched out in the front, as well as the cockpit where Batman will be sitting. So taking this up into the camera, you can see that neat Bat symbol right in there from the movie. And then along the side, it's all open in here with ribs for that nice chrome detail to come in. Look at how tightly that body wraps up in the front under those wheels. You see that there? So that's pretty cool. Then here we've got our mold marks underneath, which will have to be taken care of with that number 16 hobby blade, but they aren't too badly pronounced. There is quite a bit of a strong seam line along the edges here, so that'll have to be sanded out in order to make it nice and smooth. But overall, this looks really good. Quite a neat departure for the Batmobile for this movie. This parts tree includes the chassis, Batman's legs, the front of the turbine, and the cowl for the front of the car. And let's just take this up into the camera and turn it over. So here you can see that wonderful engine detail that's all underneath here. This will be quite a cool painting challenge, getting the silver down there. There's that turbine. It almost looks like a, sort of like a drill cap in a weird way. There's the front of the car. It's got this nice ridge in here, almost like um, something you'd see in a Star Trek movie you know, up around the main sensor dish. It's again, really quite cool. And then we've got the bat legs. <laughs> Woo, really interesting. You got the boots as well as the legs here and then where the, the actual body is gonna attach. So again, really nice work from Ravel Monogram. Here we can see the upper back end of the car, which includes the bat seat as well as this nice spine down the middle. Here's our rear fenders. Batman's arms, his front and back, and then the little front piece for the nose again. Actually, this is a bottom piece for the back of the tail. Again, this has a really kind of cool 1930s sports car look to it. Look at the instrument panel down in here. This is where all your decals will be going. Uh, Batman looks great. You got the chest molded in, all the abs and everything, as well as his face. Let's see if the camera can get that. There we go. The arms look good as well. Now turning it over, you've got detail in here. You do have mold marks, which will have to be scraped down. But again, overall, this is really excellent work and looks like it would be quite simple and quick to put together. This parts tree includes the two bat fins, which go up on the back of the car, as well as the plastic axles. Here it is clearly marked rear and front, just so that you don't get these confused. So again, looking at this up close, the bat fins are quite slick and very nice. The axles, again, are just plastic rods. You could replace them with metal if you want something a little more durable. And then up under here, we've got the connecting pins. So there's the pins for one side, right and left, and then the whole side for right and left. There are some mold marks again here, which are easy to clean up with your number 16 hobby blade. And again, really excellent, crisp, clean detailing from Ravel Monogram. Our chrome parts tree includes all the cool wheels and the wheel spinners, as well as those bumper guards, and then the bat steering wheel, which is chrome plated as well. There's all our exhaust pipes, and then we have our side panels here as well. And you can see just how cool this actually is. There's our tail lights there. Can't forget those. Look at that nice detailing in here. Like they say, use a flat black wash just to bring all this out. Lower in here and raise up the chrome up the front. 
The wheels are really huge looking, something like IndyCar tires. On the back, you can see just how simplistic they are. So this is really almost like a um, promotional model kit. Again, you've got some mold marks up in here, which will need to be kind of cleared down. You can paint this black on the back, just so that it doesn't show through if you're able to see it from, you know, turning the model over. But it did look pretty tight up in there, so I wouldn't see that being a problem. So overall, again, really excellent chrome detailing. Here we have the glass components for our models, which includes the windshield and the front headlamps. And then we have the great big bat tires. So there isn't really too much to show on the windshield and headlights. They are just basically basic. <laughs> there is a little bit of ribbing in here and a headlight detail down below, which is quite nice. But let's get into these Indianapolis style bat tires. You can see the bat logo along the tread there, which is quite interesting. They are molded on the four-piece kind of parts tree, typical of Ravel. So you'll need to cut off the tabs here and here, and then use your tire spinning tool to sand down the treads. But overall, again, really simplistic. There is no raised letter detail like Goodyear Firestone. So I guess the tires are just bat tires. But overall, this should work really well with your model kit and look just fantastic once it's done. Here we have the decal sheet for our Batmobile. And this curve, once you wrap it around, should work on that front turbine. And again, they are all calculated to fit in perfectly. You can see the radiuses are different. Here we've got a bunch of the Bat instrument panel details, as well as the center one here and the bat symbol there. So overall the color registry is quite nice on these decals and they are quite simplistic again for an easy quick build. Well I hope you enjoyed that look at our 1997 Batman and Robin Batmobile by Ravel Monogram and if you've built this model kit in the past we want to know how you enjoyed putting it together. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family and until next time Bat fans, have a good one!